going to go over how to calculate plate motion. I'm going to just do question 1a as an example. So what we're trying to do is figure out the rate and direction of plate motion on the Hawaiian plate, which is shown here. So these islands are sitting on the plate, and we know their known ages. Those have been marked. Each of these ages, which I've already circled, um, actually denote where we see a lava flow with the red dots. So on Maui, um, we have lava flows that are 1.1 million years old. Okay, so what we need to do to calculate the rate is we need to find the distance and we're going to divide it by time. That's how we find rate. So we need the distance of the first location minus the distance or the distance between the first and the second location divided by the age between those two locations. So what we're going to just do is kind of write this out. And now we already know the ages that we're looking at. They gave it to us 4.7 and 1.6 million years ago. So, um, all right, 4.7 million years ago minus 1.6 million years. And now I just need to know the distance between those two. So what we're going to do is come over here, and we can see that Kauai was 4.7 million years old, and Molokai right here is 1.6 million years old. So to measure the distance, what we're going to do is use something to figure it out. So I have a handy envelope right here. I'm going to set one corner at the 4.7 million years and I'm going to line it up and make a little mark where that 1.6 million years comes in. Now we're going to use the graphical scale down here at the bottom and we're going to figure out that age. So to there that's 150 kilometers and then I'm going to slide this over and it's just under 150. So maybe this is like 145. So 150 plus 145 gives us 295 kilometers as our distance between them. And you can use your calculator to do that if you need to. So our distance we said was 200, oops, sorry about that, and 95 kilometers. Okay, so to do 4.7 minus 1.6, you can get your calculator out. 4.7 minus 1.6 is 3.1 million years. And the distance is 295 kilometers. So we would come over here and, whoops, clear, 295 divided by 3.1. Okay, and that tells us that the rate of spreading is 95.2 kilometers per million years. I'm going to put just write MY now, actually. Now, if we wanted to convert this into centimeters per year, because most of us are thinking in that, um, we can do that. So we would write 95.2 kilometers over one year. Oops, one MY, million years. Um, we would just then put, oops, times uh, one kilometer. You know, there's a thousand meters in every kilometer. And we have a hundred centimeters in every meter. Okay. Now this um, one MR, woo, I'm going to, we can fix that in a minute. So we're just going to take 95.2. We're going to go times 1,000 divided by 1, times 100 divided by 1. So over here, we can just do times 1,000, like that, divided by 1, times 100, like that, divided by 1, which is the same thing. So we can see that is, um, let's see, 95, let's see. 9516129.03. So 9,000. And now millions of years. So, whoops, sorry about that. So that's centimeters per million years. And if we want to convert that millions of years, I'm going to flip this over. Apologize for that. Again, trying to do this one handed holding the camera. 9516129.03. Zero three centimeters over one m y times one m y for million years, and just write out a million if you want to. So thousands, millions of years. 
So basically, we're just going to take this big number and we're going to divide it by a million. So we go divided by one. And our answer is 9.5 centimeters per year. Okay, so oh, there you go, 9.5 centimeters per year. So that tells you the rate that it's moving. Now the question is, what direction is it going? Um, I'll be posting an extra video to help you see this one. But when we're drawing the direction, so the hot spot is currently sitting under Hawaii. And at one point, Kauai was sitting in this location. So hot spots are stationary and they don't move. So it's the plate that's moving over these. And the direction of movement can be determined by drawing an arrow from the youngest point to the oldest point. So in this case, if we were going from Molokai to Kauai, because that's the age we just did, you would draw an arrow and that tells us the direction. So this is moving, if we can line it up, it's moving to the northwest, kind of more in a westerly direction, but to the northwest. So the rate is 9.5 centimeters per year, and the direction is to the northwest. I'm just going to write NW. Okay, and that's how you would run those calculations. Now to do the next calculation down here, we want to see how does the rate... Oh, okay. Um, we want to figure out the rate and direction of plate motion from 1.6 million years to the present. So you're just going to be calculating the rate between Kilauea and Molokai. So again, you're going to calculate the distance, run that same calculation, and then draw your arrow. And you'll see that the arrow's direction has changed a little bit. And that's how you'll answer um, part C as well. If you have any questions, let me know.